<laughs> Everlastingness. Al Baqa. The intellectual argument for the everlastingness of Allah is that what has no beginning, likeness, partner, or need necessarily has no end. If Allah were not everlasting, he would have a beginning. The scholar said, مَا ثَبَتَ قِيدَمُهُ إِسْتَحَالَ عَدَمُهُ Whatever is confirmed to be eternal is impossible to be non-existent. Thus, non-existence does not follow his existence. For the eternal does not change. Whatever is eternal does not change. Now, of course, Allah is the only one who's eternal. But we can talk like that. We can say, whatever is eternal, or if something is eternal, and then that would be for argument's sake. So, non-existence does not follow his existence. For the eternal does not change. Whatever is eternal or would be eternal would not change. And going into non-existence is change. Or going out of existence is change. So annihilation does not occur to him. Abu al-Mudhaffar said, وَأَن تَعْلَمَ أَنَّ لَهُ بَقَاءً and that you know that he has everlastingness. The meaning of his being everlasting is his having existence that does not cease. Allah said, "Huwa al-awwal wal-akhir." He is the awwal first, meaning the only without a beginning. The only one without a beginning. And he is Al-Akhir, the one without an end. Allah's name, Al-Akhir, the last, means the one who exists without an end. Ibn Furak said it means the one whose existence remains after the annihilation of his creations. Al-Tahawi said, Da'imun bilantiha la yafna wa la yabid. Da'im, everlasting, without end, not vanishing nor expiring. Ibn Furak said that Allah's description, Al-Baqi, is established by consensus. There's no difference about it. That's one of his 99 names. Its meaning, according to Al-Ash'ari, is the one attributed with Baqa, the Baqa, everlastingness, or remaining in existence, or staying in existence. According to that literal meaning, that linguistic usage or sense of the word, creatures also have a baka, a lastingness. Because one moment would pass on them and then another and then another. But it is remaining created. Their baka is remaining created. Remaining, lasting as a made thing. Lasting as a made thing while subject or possible to vanish. Ibn Furak conveys that Al Ash'ari deems it impossible that a body's qualities remain because the body remains. For if the qualities remained because the body remains, it would be impossible for them to change. As long as the body is remaining. Is that clear? However, we find bodily qualities that switch and change. Although the body remains. So this proves that the body's remainder 
is not the quality's remainder. On the other hand, since Allah has not like us, it is valid that the attributes of Allah remain in existence by the everlastingness of his self. That means not by their own everlastingness. Allah has many attributes. His attributes remain existing not by their own everlastingness, but by the everlastingness of his self. Since the Creator's attributes remain by an everlastingness that must necessarily exist because of His existence, it would not be valid for those attributes to change and switch, though the Creator remains. Thus, it is valid that those attributes would remain because of His everlastingness. Abu Hanifa said, "Lam yazal wa la yazal bi asma'ihi wa sifatih, bi asma'ihi wa sifatih al-dhatiyyati wal fi'liyah." He never ceased to be, and he shall not cease to be named with his names, and attributed with his attributes of the self and his attributes of doings. Everlastingly. Al Ash'ari also said that something everlasting does not have to have an attribute of everlastingness, which we just hinted at that. He said that the attributes of Allah remain by an attribute called everlastingness, but that everlastingness is the attribute of the self, not of the attributes. That attribute is not an attribute of the attributes. It's an attribute of the self. Yes. So the everlastingness of Allah is an attribute of his self. He has attributes of his self. One of them is everlastingness. So his everlastingness is, in, is an attribute of his self. So what about his attributes? Are they everlasting? Yes, his attributes are everlasting. So does that mean then that the attributes have an attribute called everlastingness? No, it does not mean that. Then how can we say that the attributes are everlasting? We say his attributes are everlasting not by their own attribute, because an attribute can't have an attribute. Rather, his attributes are everlasting by the everlastingness of his self. Al-Ash'ari also said that something everlasting does not have to have an attribute of everlastingness. He said that the attributes of Allah remain by an attribute called everlastingness. That's true. But that everlastingness is the attribute of the self. Not an attribute of the attributes, because an attribute can't have an attribute, because that leads to a beginningless chain. And a beginningless chain is always impossible. By this everlastingness of the self, his attributes are everlasting. As for the attribute of everlastingness, it is itself everlastingness. And it is impossible that the everlastingness would be attributed with everlastingness. Because that leads to a beginningless chain. Allah is the only self attributed with everlastingness by necessity. Unlike paradise and hellfire. They are indeed everlasting, but because Allah specified them. Yani, they are everlasting but only because Allah specified them. So their everlastingness is not by themselves. It is created. No one specified the everlastingness of Allah to Allah. 
the term everlastingness does not have the same meaning when attributed to him as when attributed to the creations. The everlastingness of paradise and hellfire is lapse of time. One moment passes on them, then another and another. The possibility of paradise and hellfire ceasing to exist is intellectual. It's an intellectual possibility, not religious. It's not a religious possibility that paradise and hell could vanish. Religiously, it is impossible that they end. Because Allah informed that he willed for them to remain without end. وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَبِحَمْدِهِ